said you were working with the feds. No, wait, it sounded more like you were working for the feds. Isn't it quite obvious what will happen as we get ready for the Blacklist Season 10, Episode 6 on NBC this weekend? All right, so that might not be the case when Dr. Lakin Perillos comes back but we can definitely say that when it comes to Wujing and Reddington. Now, before we go any further, who is Dr. Lakin Perillo? No pain at all? Good. To be impervious to pain. What a terrible idea. Season 8, Episode 10 of The Blacklist, titled Dr. Lakin Perillo's. An episode where Red and Demby are put in danger when Townsend recruits Dr. Lakin Perillos, a vicious torturer who employs unethical and unconventional painful methods to question her captives as a torture specialist. The Townsend engaged her to get information from Reddington regarding the location of the Sarkovsky archive. After enduring her torturous and horrific techniques of torture, Red and Demby were freed from her. The Blacklist will include Dr. Perillo's once more the following episode, titled Dr. Perillo's 2. Back to our analysis, let me begin by briefly recapping what happened at the end of the show from the previous week. We witnessed the events there, where Robert Vesco returned to Wujing and made it obvious that he is now completely with him. While Wujin is gathering dangerous Blacklisters, to destroy Reddington, it is still unclear whether Robert Vesco's partnership with Wujin is part of Reddington's strategy to get his man on the inside. In our opinion, Vesco and Reddington have devised a scheme that will allow him to act as a double agent. Even if Robert objects to the idea of Reddington cooperating with the FBI, isn't it possible that he will understand if he is made aware of the real reason? They have a long history together, and it's important to keep in mind that Reddington wasn't the one who originally wanted Vesco to be locked up. He was compelled to act in Dem V's best interests. Where the risk comes in here is tied a little bit to Wu Jing. Won't he think it is strange that Robert came back to him after getting Reddington to confess, and that the concierge of crime didn't kill him? After all, take a second to think about this. Wu Jing is aware of Vesco questioning Reddington over his cooperation with the FBI. Why does he believe Reddington let him go? It in itself should raise red flags. Well, Reddington and Vesco do show some affection towards one another, but still Reddington has killed loved ones before, usually because they deceived him or represented a threat to his objectives, as was the case with Sam, Elizabeth's adoptive father. Our fear is that he will know Vesco is a double agent and set him and Reddington both up for something terrible. If that happens, it will leave the concierge of crime, Raymond Reddington, in a more hopeless and disillusioned state, and at the very least, make the story more fascinating going forward. But if Wu Jing is unaware of this possible plan, this could give Raymond Reddington a great advantage against Wu Jin and his empire of angry blacklisters. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.